All right, well, hey there. I just wanted to take a minute and uh, show you the, uh, I went to the $5 bag sale today at a little thrift store near here. It's called uh, the Northern Tier Children's Home Thrift Store Niche. Um, and I can't seem to get that right. So anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, I just want to take time to show you what I got. I paid $20 today for everything I bought. And what you see right there is what I got. I got four trash bags filled with stuff. Okay. <clears throat> now I haven't had time to uh, to look up a lot of this stuff or anything like that, but I'm gonna just try to go through it real quick with you so that you can get an idea of idea of how much uh, how much I hopefully I'm gonna make on this stuff. So I guess I'll get started on that. See if you can get some information on uh, <clears throat> what some of this stuff is. Anyway, so here. I don't know if you really want to. Wait, when the mess is that rate up done? Hold on. There we go. That's a lot better, I think. All right. Still can't see it though. Uh, wow. Well, here's my ugly bald head for you to look at. So here's what I, what I got, all right? And I don't know if this is worth, it, worth anything or not, but it's new in package, so... Remember, these were $5 a bag for all of them, so... I, I, I'm gonna have... quarters, maybe, into this stuff, so... Uh, this is a, a waterproof mattress protector. I didn't look any of this stuff up yet, so... Um, but five bucks a bag. I mean, I can't really go any wrong. Can't really go wrong with that. Uh, that's a twin. So this is a a twin flat sheet set. It's still. I mean, it's it's still brand new. It's still in the package. Um, it was J C Penny, and I it's uh, I'm thinking it's finished because it's got Daycron and polyester stuff. So I'm pretty sure it's finished. But I don't know if you can see the pictures there. No, it looks pretty. Little flowers. So it's a twin set, um, and this one I got is uh, I was told that this this per kale or or per quote is supposed to be good. I saw that on a uh, a video with uh, I think I think it was on uh, the thrifting board or something like that. But anyway, so. Uh, it's no iron per kale. It's a flat twin set and uh, made in USA. Anyway, go. I get, get going through this. This is going to take hours. All right, uh, another waterproof um, fitted vinyl mattress protector. This is just a mainstay. It's just that's from Walmart. And then it's another one of those. This is from Grants. I don't know if you all know Grants. I went to Grants when I was a kid. So, I think Kmart bought them out probably, or they went out of business, probably in the late 70s maybe, somewhere in there. But I used to go, I used to go to Grants when I was a kid. So, per, per kale, there's that per kale thing again, there's a pattern on that, it looks like a, I don't know what you want to call that. Anyway, it's a 50% combed cotton, 50% polyester. And that's another brand. It's a new, new, you know, vintage sheet, and a, and this is another one. Okay, this one is uh, J C Penny. This is 160 threads per per square inch. I, that that means something. That that how many threads are in it depends on how 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 good a quality it is. I think something like that. This is open. Well, must have just opened it in the thing, but. Uh, Still got the original paper here. Somebody just must have opened that thing. This is a zippered zippered mattress protector. Fits mattresses up to nine inches deep. Royal Mystique. So, yep. There's that. And then there's another uh, another Grant's sheet set there. Put them together. They're the same. Yeah, the same pattern. That's cool. So, I would guess 
that just from what I looked up at sheets before and stuff like that, that there's at least there should be at least fifty bucks right there in just in just those. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And then I, I went on I went on a, on a tantrum for for jeans. I bought this is a pair of, of Lee's Lee uh, jeans. They kind of look acid acid washed. I think don't, I don't know. Do you think so? I don't know. They kind of look acid washed. I never got into that acid wash thing. That came. That was that was late. It was like, well, they were doing acid wash. I think they're uh, what at the end of the '80s. There was some of the uh, some of the hair bands were still, and you saw that you still saw that acid wash stuff going on. So uh, I can't think of it. Like, I don't know. I don't know the videos with you know you know the videos with the girls in it. So yeah, yeah, those things. And so then there's a pair of uh, a pair of Lee dungarees. Okay, I don't know if they're called carpenter pants or not. They got that little loop there, pocket on the side. So, anyway, I don't really know a whole lot about selling clothes, like I said before. But I, I'm gonna learn. And uh, even at this, even this with this price, I mean, we're talking quarter piece. I could sell these and these and Levi's in my yard sale for three, four, five bucks a piece probably. And somebody else would take and put them on eBay. So, and there's a part of a pair of. A pair of Levi's 559s. Uh, just says relax fit. These are this is so this. I don't know if it's guys or not. It says 32, 34. I don't think the girls usually have both measurements, do they? I don't know 32, 34. So, but uh, I don't know. I don't know that. Uh, there's, and there's a little little wear on these ones. So, I got a lot of jeans. Okay, and another pair of another pair of Lee uh, dungarees, like carpenter pants. There, another pair of them. So, I bought these. They're, uh, I guess, like a, a brown color, Levi's 550, like brown or, or green maybe. But the cool thing is, is that, well, L30. I don't know what that is. The thing on them said said they're well oh, that's forty four thirty so they're forty fours I thought it said forty thirty because then I could have worn them at least for now I've been losing a little bit of weight doing a little carb I lost uh, oh lost eight pounds so far been about ten days something like that so I'm kind of stuck right now kind of stuck been same same weight for three days but uh, <clears throat> it's that fiber thing you know you know how it is. And there's a pair of uh, Lee, what are they, dungarees? Yeah, Lee riveted dungarees. They're, uh, those are bibs. A pair, of, a pair of farmer's pants there. So, bibs usually do pretty good. I, I think I got some other ones I just took pictures of. I haven't listed them yet, but got them. All right. Uh, now, this these were cool. I don't know. These, are, these must be from like the 70s or something. It's like a... I got a one-piece denim, denim, uh, it says they're from Coret, K-O-R-E-T. I don't know if you can read that or not there. Coret, you see that? City Blues. So, I didn't find too much of these. I actually was looking these up. Uh, I didn't really find anything like these, like these that I could find on eBay. So, I, I don't know if these came back in style again, but I thought these were like 1970s. I mean, maybe they came back in style somewhere and I missed it, but they're made in Dominican, USA components. So, I, I don't know. I don't know, but that was, uh, correct. And so, yeah, and they're gathered, they're gathered, like, in the, in the, in the waist area there. I got a, a black pair. So, I don't know what they're going to go for. I have no idea. I was thinking, of listen, I'm kind of high, maybe around 50 bucks or something. Oh, this was... This one's got shoulder pads in it. It's got shoulder pads. So what is that? Is that early 80s then? Somebody can tell me. So same company, that Coret City Blues. But they're like a, a black denim. So, yeah, that was cool. Alright. Uh, and I got, I got some vintage stuff. There's a, a vintage dress there. It's a pretty pattern got a black, or not a black, a metal, 
a metal zipper on it. So, uh, metal zippers kind of went out quite a while back. I used to sell all the vintage clothes I could get to actually to my landlord back when I, back, uh, oh, 10, 15 years ago before I bought my house. And, uh, so this is a nice, nice little short, it's a short dress, but, um, I'm thinking, uh, it's made by, made by Isabel, Isabel Lynch. If anybody knows anything about that, I'd appreciate, uh, you let me know. Yeah, you need to see the tag, just in case. Here's the tag. Isabel Lynch, got it? Yep, there it is. Okay, uh, I, anyway, yeah, I used to sell all the vintage. She had a, she had a antique shop, and I used to sell all the vintage clothes I could get there. She used to give me a good price for them, but... Then I moved and bought my house, and I didn't really do too many vintage clothes anymore, so I didn't see her. And this was, I figured I'd get it for a costume or something. I, I... It's short. I don't know if it's a skirt or yeah, it's a skirt. Girl gotta. I think uh, I think girls gotta have some real daring for that one. So that's pretty short. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's old because it's, it's got a plastic zipper. It's just neat. I think it. I make a good costume. There's a little brooch on here. Uh, it's just junk jewelry. Nothing special. No marks or nothing on it. Yeah, just a little jump approach. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty cool, though. So, I don't know. That was pretty neat. I just grabbed that. Because, well, yeah, might as well, you know? Five bucks a bag. And then there was a, a red dawn. Uh, I guess it's kind of a slip. Feels like a slip. But it's got, you know, them, them lines through it or something. So, I don't know. I don't know what that's for. But anyway, this is a red slip. Maybe a dress, maybe a skirt. I guess could be. Oh, it's all in that bag. Uh oh. I got this. Uh, I got this flag. It's a, it's a pineapple flag. Welcome, pineapple welcome flag. I thought it was cool, so I grabbed it. Some of them, I did look those up before, and they seem to do all right. So, okay. I just picked these up as fillers. They're they're old uh, Pyrex Crazy Daisy. I don't know if they're they might be too cloudy. I might just get rid of them. But the lids, a lot of times I could use that lid for another one. So if they're too cloudy, I'll just do that. So okay, yep. There's that. And then I bought I got these uh, uh, Pyrex. Yeah, Pyrex. I think they're. I don't know if they're they're like. I don't know what they're really for. If they're condiments or 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 what, you know, some something in there. But yeah, I got. Uh, I think I got all. Yeah, I got two of each of them. So so we're good there. I've been eyeing them up for a while. They were more than I wanted to pay before. So and then oh, now we're making noise. <laughs> all right, got a picked up a glass. Vase frog, it's got a little chip in it, but I'll put it in my yard sale. Fit right in there. Who knows? I might have chipped it. And then I got one of these. Uh, it's uh, it's for it's a peeler. This is a uh, number number five, I think it says. It's uh, knee N E E action. So um. Yeah, hey, look them up. I, I was selling them. I don't know what they sell for now. I sold them before for uh, 5 to $10 when I got out of them before. So and I just got some brass. I don't do anything with brass except put it in the scrap pile and hope that the price goes up. So that's what I do with brass. All right, well, that was one bag. Y'all want to see another one? Okay. It's not Atari, it's an off-brand, it's a gem stick. It's brand new in the package, uh, goes to an Atari game. Well, it gets used with Atari, oh, it says Commodore, Commodore 64, Atari 2600, Sears Telegames. So, yep, that's what it goes to. So, I'm thinking, I don't know, new in the pack, it should, I don't know, probably, it's probably 10 bucks, maybe. Maybe more, I don't know, maybe more. And then I just picked up some 
some uh, new they're, they're new cassettes. They're, they ain't been used, but I don't, they're nothing special. But I just put them in a lot and sell them. Sell them with other stuff. The Neil Young CD. I'll put that on Amazon. The Mannheim Steamroller. I don't know if that'll be on Amazon or not. I might just keep that and listen to it at Christmas time. And I bought a couple of uh, couple of cables while I was there. A couple of power cables there. They're kind of just like that because I get stuff that um, that needs a cable with it all the time. That yeah, stereos and stuff like that that needs a, a power cord. So you know they they're usually battery operated, but but it's better to have a power cord. So alrighty. These are, I didn't get the top, just the bottoms, they're Adidas, yeah, Adidas uh, jogging pants or whatever, they're a little too skinny for me, but, uh, and I don't know what they sell for, I see people some people selling them for the whole suit for a lot of money, so I figured I'd grab them. It's a way to learn how to do it, I guess, just keep, just do it. This is, uh... It's a heavy, like flannel shirt by from Five Brothers. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's a button-up, button-up shirt, Five Brothers. So yeah, I'm gonna put that over here, dog. My dog's over there. One of them. And then I picked this uh, Stephen Berry's. It says, "You ever heard of Stephen Berry's?" I thought I thought I heard of somebody. Somebody. Was talking about them, so I just picked it up. Screen, screen. I don't know. Somebody might like it. I don't have to iron. I guess I have to iron it or something. That's a nasty thing. But yeah, there's that one. And then this is a. Uh, this was uh, a a David Taylor collection. I don't know if y'all know that name or not. David, it's sort of like a. I guess like a. Hawaiian kind of themed shirt. Um, not very bright, not good bright colors, I guess. But anyway, yep. Yeah, so price is right. And I got this uh, Nike. Yeah, it's a Nike uh, Nike Dry Fit Dry. Is that what it is? Fit Nike Nike Fit Dry. It's got the little symbol on the side on the arm there. Right there, Nike swoosh there on the tag, and nothing in the front. It's orange, very orange. So I heard they were good, so I grabbed it. So anyway, yep. Tired of clothes yet? Let's see. That's a. You guys can tell me if this is real or not. Burberry's of London. It's just not really made in London, of course, but it's just a, it's a shirt. I probably... I don't know, that looks a little small for me. It's just 16. 16, uh, no, 15 and a half. 34, 35, so I don't know what that means. And then I picked up the Boo shirt, I think it is. Jaeger Meyer. Can you see it? Jaeger Meyer. On the black on the back here it says bloodhoundgang.com. Uh, again, I don't know anything about this, so I just grabbed it. And Para. Columbia shorts. They're a little a little distressed there. A little a little worn there. Um I they're size thirty six, so uh, they're denim, so, you know, if my diet goes well, maybe by the end of summer I'll be able to wear them. If my diet goes well. And what I got? I got a pair of classic relaxed Levi's 550, 550s. So, yep, there they are. They look like they're in pretty good shape, so. Uh, like you said, they're Levi's, though, so. Should be able to do something with them. And what's this in this box? This some extension cords I got. 
picked up this little thing because I thought it might be carbon steel, but I'm not sure. And then uh, we got a vintage Sears lace on wheel cover, steering wheel cover. It's it's old one. I had these when I was when I first started driving. It's some old ones. So I don't know if they still make them or not, but it was pretty cool. So I grabbed it. I wanted the box anyway. I ship stuff in. So all right, and then. Picked up a can, uh, Panasonic um, oh, toner cartridge. Toner cartridge. So that went in there. It hasn't been opened. The box is all, all wrecked up. But I don't know if these are good or not. I saw a girl wear. I saw a girl wearing a, a shirt. A shirt that said the same thing. Cool story, bro. I don't know if they're good or not. But I grabbed that hat. Yeah. All right. Then I got a bunch of. Well, I got. I just got some. I got a. A lighter, it's not a Zippo, it's a K-A-L-A-N, made in China, but hey, it's a cool lighter. I got this uh, Case International watch, it's uh, made, I don't know who it says it's made by here, I can't be right, oh, NIDA, I don't know, light's pretty poor right now, I can't read it, I can't read it. I picked up this other watch. It's an old. It says uh, it says it's a uh, P A P A T E P A T E A U Patau Patau Y. It's it's an old um. It's an old LED lit digital, I think, so I'm going to pop a battery in that and see if it works. But I, was, I thought it was cool. So, and then I found this little, I don't know what this is. Looks like, I think it's a, I think it's a belt, a belt buckle. Looks like a belt buckle, yeah, a little peace sign. I mean, it ain't nothing special, but I figured I'd get something for it. And then I picked up this pen. It was just a National Honor Society. National Honor Society. I don't know if that's any good either, so I just grabbed it. That's all that stuff. Okay. And then... Alright. Oh, let's see if I can get it out of here. Ah. There we go. I bought this uh, case for holding uh, 3.5 floppies. It's got a jump shot. I don't know what that is. A jump shot cable in there, USB cable. Um, these, these, these you can usually get something for. So, and then I was looking through the CD or the, the things here, and most of them don't look like they're anything special. But QuickBooks. Somebody might want QuickBooks. This it's old, the old one, but people still use that stuff. So. Uh, so that's cool. Old McAfee. Greeting card magic. Flex family tie. Flexomatic. I don't know if I don't know if any of them are any good. I just I actually got it for the box. So if any of those dis sell, that's just like a bonus. Not that they're I got a bunch of vases. There's a Hager. Um I got these mainly because uh I I actually plant in them, so I, I put grow aloe plants or other kind of plants, and I always need pots. So, um, just but it's a Hager, so I'm gonna be looking them up before I before I put a plant in it. And then this one here is a oh, now it's trapped inside. It's okay. That's another Hager. Okay. Sometimes the Hagers are good, so I, I, I you know maybe not fantastic. This is just. A plastic one. I'm just gonna plant in that thing. It's got a name on it, so I should look it up, shouldn't I? And then this is a this is a actually yeah this is a Royal Hager. I don't know if you can see that Royal Hager on there. Uh, they're just plain, so I don't expect them to be worth anything, but they're gonna be worth something for my plants. And okay, there's a VHS C. It's it's new, so uh, I don't know if they're worth a whole lot, but I can lot it up with other stuff. So, and this is a, a Florentine, which I think was 
I think it was McCoy. I think McCoy made these, the, the later McCoy mark. You can see on the bottom that Florentine's got a mark right there beside the, right there beside the USA. And that looks like an, one of those weird McCoy marks. I don't know, it's been so long since I've messed with it. More brass. Yeah, that's that. And then I just picked this up. It's just a big old, was probably a soup tureen. It's gonna, it looks like a big chip here on the side. But that's just gonna go outside and get plants in it this summer, so. I'll probably throw some chives or something in there. And just another little pot for more plants. And a little heart pot for more plants. Alright, that's the second bag. Second bag's done except for this little... I don't know why I grabbed this shirt. I don't know how this shirt got in there. Oh, it's Levi's. I couldn't read it. It says Levi's. Levi's there, Levi's on the pocket. So, I grabbed it because it's Levi's, so... Might be good. Never know, right, dog? Never know. Okay. And I bought this belt. It's a, uh, it's leather, but it's it's not. I mean, it says genuine classic Italia, but you can tell it's it's not. I mean, look. I mean, it's all bubbling up and stuff like that. That ain't real. I know what a real leather leather belt is. That's just some cheap crap. But I didn't buy it for the belt. I bought it for that. The monster belt buckle. Uh, I forget what, what they're selling for, but you, you can sell the belt buckles, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Gonna sell me a belt buckle. I never even had a monster. I know it's one place I used to work, this girl come up. She's been drinking. She drank like three of them. She's all freaking out. Ooh. I'm never gonna do it. I'm never gonna drink one. Not right now, anyway either so that's yeah, another belt it says Pennsylvania bow hunter uh, it, it's pretty used it's but it is this is actual really actually really leather this was probably something that somebody made in shop class or something it's got a it's got a cool belt buckle on it too that's kind of neat but uh, yeah that looks like a shop like something that somebody had either made in shop class or they had made it at a, at a flea market or something like that so and you know, these are all stamped in there by hand, so it's pretty cool. I made a belt for my dad in, in high school. I love it. I made him a belt and a and a wallet when I was in high school. Yeah, it was tenth grade, I think, eleventh grade. I don't remember. But yeah, he wore he well he used the belt to till it, it basically wore out probably just a few years before he died. So it's just a couple years ago. I mean, not a couple years. It's he died. Jeez, I guess it's been 15 years ago, but so it lasted till probably three years. Let's see, I bet she got 20, 20 years out of that belt I made in high school. Before. And the wallet didn't last him quite as long, but but it lasted quite a while. He loved that wallet too. And I picked up this uh, clock radio. Uh, I, I didn't check it to see if it works or anything. So um, it's a realistic. I don't know how some of the clock radios are doing really well. I don't know if this one is or not. And, oh. and I bought I bought this. I got this. It's a Zenith Zenith clock radio. Real vintage looking, you know, faux wood box case there. Um, Zenith didn't really seem like it, it was doing too well, but this one's kind of different. So I just thought, well, hey, why not? I'll just check it out and see. Okay, and then, what else I got? Got a bunch of, bunch of these, whoa, I didn't break it yet. Alright, you got them out of there? There we go. I got a bunch of these little, little alarm clocks. Just got three of them. Uh, I got a bunch of other ones around. I usually sell these when I put them up on eBay. Not that for a lot, I mean, probably ten bucks a piece, something like that. So, I don't know if they're still doing that or not now, but they were when I sold them before, so. So yeah, sold them and uh, I sold them. But I got them and I I bought some hats. Got some hats. Got a Toyota hat. It's a little worn, but and a mossy oak. It's a bit kind of dirty. So I just grabbed it. Grizzly. 
That was cool. Had to have that. And then a Dewalt Racing. So, ain't too bad. All right. Uh, got two of these. Uh, I guess you call them wall sconce lamps. And milk glass on there. They were actually were something very similar to this. I actually sold. I was looking these up last night because I cased the joint yesterday. So I was looking these up a little bit last night. I knew what I was going after mainly when I went in. Because I'd already figured it out. But I don't remember the prices. I just knew that they were good. They were good enough to, good enough to buy. So I got two of them. And uh, let's see. I got this one. This one don't have no cord dripped off of it, but uh, it's pretty cool. No glass lamp. And they they seem to be selling, so I'm not gonna turn them away. All right. I bought this. I was looking them up. I didn't realize the micro chargers. I, they weren't really do, really doing too hot. I don't think. I mean, if the box was nice and everything, and this doesn't have the cars or nothing, and it. it's just got the it's just got that rate that like that pit stop thing in it. So I don't know. I'm gonna put it up for for auction for nine ninety nine and just see what happens. Oh, let's see. Okay. And now I pick this up. This is a cocoa latte machine. Okay. Now, I am not going to sell this on eBay, just so you know. I'm not going to sell it on Amazon. I'm not going to sell it on my yard sale. I'm going to call the company up and I'm going to tell them that I have one of their recalled latte, cocoa, cafe latte machines. They're going to send me a, a label to ship this part back. I'm going to put it in a box and I'm going to ship it off. And they're going to send me a check probably two months later for 30 bucks. So this right here paid for everything. If I didn't get make anything on this, this will pay for everything. All right. Okay. And then I got a bunch of these here, guys. These little, little, uh, this is 57 on the bottom. Little, um, I guess they're little bean pots. I don't know, bean pots, or maybe they, they may put honey in them, or mustard or something like that. I think I'm sure they're probably for a restaurant. That 57 is probably for Heinz. But I got a bunch of them, so maybe 10 or so of these. So I'll put them up in a lot. Some of them were selling really cheap when I was looking. Some of them actually sold pretty good. So same thing I always do. Long tail it and list it high. Okay. And that is the end of bag three. Bag four is a lot easier. It won't take anywhere near as long. Just books. I don't know if that one's any good or not. Uh, this one was pretty good. I forget. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that on Amazon. A rich dad, poor dad. I just buy all the rich dad, poor dads I can find and put them back in the circulation. Um, I don't think they sell for a whole lot. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm not going to answer the phone, so excuse the phone ring in there. And Catholic Answers. Now, this was the one that was like 20 bucks. Uh, I forget what that other book was. Hello. And then the Conscience of Faith, that was a couple bucks. And Trump, The Art of the Deal. Uh, that should fetch me probably, depending on what it is. Oh, it's signed. No, just kidding. It's, uh, well, they don't say first edition or nothing in there, so I'm just assuming it's just a reprint. Um, but still, it's probably 10 15 bucks for that right now. So. At least it was the other day. And there's just another lectionary worship aid. That was a couple bucks on Amazon. I mean, I, I, a couple bucks profit. Bought a couple of Tolkien books because I have the other one. So, all right, maybe I don't. Yeah, Two Towers, Fellowship of the Ring. I already got the Fellowship of the Ring, so. Uh, part one. I don't know, maybe the other one's part two. Anyway. 
So there's more books. And then basically I just got I just got um records. These are uh, this is a a time life record. I have a bunch of these that go in this set and then I found these extra ones sitting over there today and I thought well I'll grab them up because there's I there's probably I didn't have them all, but they were they were still when I looked them up before I think it was late last summer when I looked them up before they were selling really well. So, um, not individually, but for sets. So, and the price on shipping is going to have to be massive because these suckers are heavy. So, uh, I ain't going to be no free shipping on that. Um, yeah, that's it. That was all four bags. So, uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Hit like if you did. Uh, if you feel like subscribing, go ahead. Um, and feel free to ask me any questions or anything like that in the comments. Or uh, you can probably look me up on eBay. I use a, I go by the name the State Cleaner. So um, you can look me up there. I don't have a website. So uh, yeah, that's it. So like, subscribe. Um, and have a great day.